two Happy Meals and a milkshake from McDonald's and a bucket of KFC, what Meghan's dad bought two days after heart attack. Meghan Markle's father bounced back from his heart attack by enjoying lunch at McDonald's and dinner at KFC. Thomas Markle SR was photographed by Daily Mail. Calm at a McDonald's drive through on Thursday afternoon where he picked up two Happy Meals and a chocolate milkshake covered with whipped cream around lunchtime. A few hours later, Thomas was spotted again as he pulled into a KFC near the Mexican border for dinner, grabbing himself a bucket of chicken for dinner. This despite the fact that he is now claiming to have suffered a heart attack just two days prior to his back-to-back -back fast food feasts. Thomas told TMZ about his heart attack in an interview on Monday, where he also reveled that he will not be attending the royal wedding this weekend. Daily Mail Com can report however that Meghan's father did not seek medical attention on the day of his heart attack, and was instead inside his cliff-top home in Rosarito the entire day. The father of the bride also did not seem all that concerned about his medical issues the next day, when Daily Mail com spotted Thomas grabbing a Yoohoo, a Frappuccino, some snacks, and cough syrup as 7 to 11 in San Diego along with some gas X. Thomas spent the day prior to his heart attack inside his Mexican home, where he did receive a brief visit from friend Lori Davis, 38, on Monday morning. But on Wednesday, the day after the 73-year-old allegedly left the medical center, he began an epic 24-hour round trip to Los Angeles, leaving home at 8.30 p.m. and crossing San Diego's San Isidro border shortly afterwards. After checking into the $1.69 per night roadway in San Isidro, Thomas drove to a nearby 7 to 11, arriving at 9.52 p.m., where he was seen purchasing gas X medication a bottle of milkshake and a can of Heineken lager. The next morning, the apparently ailing retiree departed at 4.10am, completing the 135-mile drive to Hollywood in just under four hours. Once there, he picked up his post at a branch of UPS at 7.30am before driving to a CVS pharmacy on North Cahuenga Boulevard in Los Angeles, where he bought a car later delivered to his ex-wife. Thomas then drove himself to his property in Los Feliz where he relaxed for several hours, before departing for a second time at 12.30 p.m. en route to McDonald's. There, he purchased two Happy Meals from the drive through eating his lunch in the car as he drove to a nearby branch of Home Depot where he bought a large pot plant filled with white and violet blooms. At 2.15 p.m., he arrived at Raglan's Windsor Hills home and was pictured leaving the arrangement and the card outside her front door before driving off. Thomas then departed for Mexico, returning via the I-5 freeway. He was back at his home by 8.30 p.m. on Thursday 10. Since then Thomas has remained inside his home, with no sign of any further attempt to seek medical assistance. The next morning, the apparently ailing retiree departed at 4.10 a.m completing the 135-mile drive to Hollywood in just under four hours. Once there, he picked up his post at a branch of UPS at 7.30 a.m. before driving to a CVS pharmacy on North Cahuenga Boulevard in Los Angeles, where he bought a car later delivered to his ex-wife. Thomas then drove himself to his property in Los Feliz where he relaxed for several hours, before departing for a second time at 12.30 p.m. en route to McDonald's. There, he purchased two Happy Meals from the drive through eating his lunch in the car as he drove to a nearby branch of Home Depot where he bought a large pot plant filled with white and violet blooms. At 2.15 p.m., he arrived at Raglan's Windsor Hills home and was pictured leaving the arrangement and the card outside her front door before driving off. Thomas then departed for Mexico returning via the I-5 freeway. He was back at his home by 8.30 p.m. on Thursday 10. Since then Thomas has remained inside his home, with no sign of any further attempt to seek medical assistance. That all changed, however, when the Mail on Sunday reported that Thomas had been working with photographer Jeff Rainer to stage photos ahead of his trip overseas. Thomas is now admitting that he did in fact work with a photo agency, but said he did not make much money in the process despite the images selling for north of $100,000 to publications around the world. He added that he decided to stay home after that story came out on Sunday, 
According to TMZ, Thomas justified his actions by revealing he had been refusing multiple offers for interviews offering him up to $100,000, and only wanted to pose for the images because previous candid shots had made him look slovenly and unkempt. An image of Thomas purchasing a beer was singled out by the father of the bride as being particularly irksome. He claimed that it was for his guard and made him look like lush when in fact he does not drink. He regretfully confessed that he found the fake paparazzi shots to be stupid and hammy. Megan is no doubt devastated by the news that her father will not be there for her wedding as she has always spoken lovingly of Thomas. She spent her youth visiting him on set as he spent 10 years on the popular Fox sitcom Married with Children and later broke into the business herself. In 2016, Markle posted an image of herself as a baby laying on her father's chest with a heartfelt message accompanying the photo. Happy Father's Day Daddy, I'm still your buckaroo, and to this day your hugs are still the very best in the whole wide world, wrote Megan. Thanks for my work ethic, my love of Busby Berkeley films and club sandwiches, for teaching me the importance of handwritten thank you notes and for giving me that signature Markle knows. I love you. Thomas Jr. had previously told Daily Mail com that his father was struggling ahead of the big weeding. Dad never liked the limelight, but since the news came out about Meghan and Harry he's become a total recluse, he said earlier this year. I haven't seen him in years. He hates the attention Meghan's romance has brought onto him. He loves her but hates the idea of being in the spotlight.